Hello everyone, welcome back to Join Gaming. Today uh, we will start a new series called How to Level in Satisfactory in Hard Difficulty. D hard Difficulty we mean Dune Desert, so okay. Let's uh, create a new save and start. Okay, we go in menu, firm. Okay, so um, game, desert. Start game. Okay, we won't skip the intro so you see the whole process. Okay, we're in our capsule. Okay, we're done at the planet and we're ready to start. Okay, it says press F to dismantle. The first thing that we need to dismantle is uh, our capsule. Okay, press F and then left click. Okay. This, okay, press F again, this will be used to create uh, our own base. Okay, what we need is to find uh, resources and uh, make our headquarter there and start producing. Okay, for this, um, press I, uh, all tutorials, press O for open the end, okay. Some information you will find it here by pressing O, parts, how to make them, so on, uh, you need to... Uh, Iron ore extracted, so you may put them at the um, okay at the smelter, and then create a uh, iron ingots, etc. Okay. Zeno chapter. Okay. Put our chapter on, and we need to click. Uh, okay. Let's find good resources. Uh, okay. Here it is have iron here and okay uh, by pressing V you can have your radar see iron put it here and here okay this should be uh, copper okay Okay, the three the three things that you need at the beginning is iron, copper, and uh, you will need limestone. Limestone uh, is there, found it it's right there near the waterfall. Uh, I think it seems to be this. Okay, here we have the iron, iron here, and on the other side, okay, limestone. And I think that in this okay, food, okay, E, slot them, press tab, and always put them. Okay, we don't have any other slots, but we will make. Uh, and this is our copper. Okay, let's make our base here. Do this tab, drag and drop our hands, okay. hands, take it off. Put this. Uh, take part of the building. Okay. Um, v. Okay. For V. So that is. Scan. Okay. Perfect. Okay. It's just that we have our first guest. Okay. How to kill them? You just need to jump and kill. Okay. Let's see. It's coming. Okay. Go, go. Jump. Hop. Ah. We'll do it now. Come on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> he left, he will come back. Okay, that's a way. And get his remains. Okay, once you start uh, gathering resources from iron, we'll let you build your headquarters. Let's build it somewhere. Okay, this is a good spot. What you want is to, to find a place that it is a bit uh, flat, so you can easily put all your machines, okay? So, Q, Hub, let's put it here. Okay, here's good. Uh, fishing. This is a craft bench. Congratulations. You and have now we need to configure. Manual craft bench. Public objective. 
Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is to start uh, upgrading our uh, headquarters so we can start creating items. Uh, craft bench. Okay, uh, we already have some uh, iron ore. We can make them ingots. Okay, how you can do it? You see here, here craft. You can just press space and to start creating uh, iron for you. have enough let's see okay here's the hub here's where you will do uh, your research okay configure zero upgrade one okay it will give us very nice things first of all it will give us the workshop so we can create the weapons uh portable miners that we will use in the beginning and inventory slots so we can uh, have many things on our character okay it needs uh 10 iron roads select miner stone if you hover uh, you are running, you will see that uh, you see you need iron, iron, uh, iron ingots, and then you will make iron rods. Okay, select milestone and waiting for resources. We need 10 iron rods. Let's do it. Okay, we are ready here and 10. Upgrade hub. Okay, it's upgraded. Um, now we have our first personal box. Since we don't have uh, big boxes yet to to put our ore or our tools, uh, we will use these uh, storage boxes. Okay, they are enough to hold our things. For example, let's put these ore remains here. Okay, but portable miners. Okay, uh, this is an amazing uh, way as a beginner to start. Uh, Gathering uh, resources. Okay. Go to our craft bench. Okay, what is the bit Q? Production. Okay. We want a workshop. For this, we need uh, four, four iron rods and six plates. As you see here at the plates, it's zero. It doesn't say anything six to six and so on. But here, it says 10 out of four. It means that we have enough rod, but we need to create six iron plates. We go to our bench. And make six plates. Okay, this is ready, so let's put it. Q uh, workshop. Okay, let's put it here, but uh, okay, you see, six out of six and ten out of four. Okay, very good. Go at our workshop, escape, and for miners, we need some iron plates. Okay, let's go get some. Okay, we have our iron plates, so let's go. Okay, portable miners, we can make only one. Okay, we need more, more rods. Okay, let's try to make some uh, miners more and uh, we will go get our resources. Okay, so we made some uh, portable miners. Let's go. Let's put them to work. Okay, we go to our node. We have one already working. Tab. Select, drag and drop at hands, and you just press left click. It will start working, and it will stop when it goes to output, goes to 100. Okay, with control and left click, you can take it or drag and drop. Very important is that uh, you don't need any uh, resources to for them to work. No energy, it doesn't need power. Okay, it is uh, for beginners, uh, doesn't go fast, but you don't really need to waste any resources in order, in order for them to work okay let's put some more okay okay Got four to work for iron let's put uh, two for copper and then start gathering our resources okay copper was here Yes. Okay, put three at copper. Uh, let's go see. Let's go start gathering our resources and see what we need for the first milestone. Okay, we made some iron rods and some iron ingots. 
let's see what we need for our up upgrade too. Uh, select milestone. Don't have any active. Okay, up upgrade. Okay, select milestone. Okay, roads. Okay, up upgrade. Okay, the upgrade is almost done. Very good. Okay. We have new things now, we can make uh, copper ingots, uh, we can make power lines, we can connect our machines and we can make our first uh, main machine which is the smelter. Okay, uh, let's go get some limestone to start to making some uh, uh, flat uh, surfaces uh, so we can install our machines and uh, put them to work. Okay, we found our limestone which was near our base but we need to, to clear this. Okay, this guy is here guarding it. so. Let's take care of him. Same way. Jump. And we use our machine. Oh, where is he? There he is. Come on. Oh, okay, we got him. Let's take his remains. Okay. The first thing that we need to take is some limestone. You will see later that uh, when you will be uh, trying to install miners, you won't be able to do it because it has this small mountain in, in the center of, uh, of the depot. Okay, now it's clear. Uh, okay, our base is near. So you see that uh, food, limestone, copper and iron are near. Let's install some scenes here. Start gathering some limestone for us. Okay, I don't want it here. Uh, this pickup miner. Okay, tab. Okay, put some more. Okay, so it's, in, it's very near. Okay, let's put the last one. Okay, very good. So, okay. Gather. Very good. Okay, it's working. Let's go get some copper to make uh, some. Uh, okay. Smelter. I can use the smelter now, but use the smelter. Need wire. Okay, for wire we will need to to finish our next uh, hub upgrade, upgrade three. We have the iron uh, ingots, iron rods, so we need the copper to make our wire. Remember that we put some miners on the copper depot, but this is only for the beginning. After that, we will put some miners and we will automate the whole process. Okay, as you see, when it's 100, it stops. Okay, let's gather all. Ah, our base. Okay, crafting bench. We need wire. We need copper ingots. Okay, let's make some ingots and then start uh, creating wire to finish uh, the upgrade. Okay, we made some wire out of uh, copper ingot. Let's go to hub terminal. Okay, upgrade. Wild and done. Okay, we got buildings. We can make power poles. Uh, it's for to put wire and then connect them to the machines that we will create and uh, the, uh, the power source. Hub upgrade four. Poles and belts are very important. Okay. The cables, we will make them out of wire and uh, concrete, we will make them uh, out of limestone. Okay, let's go gather resources and uh, come back to to conti continue with uh, the hub upgrade. Okay, we gathered our resources, we created our parts. Let's put them terminal. Oh, okay, we need some plates. Make some. Okay, we're ready. Let's put it in the hub. 
have upgrade for finished which was have fifth upgrade okay now we will be we'll be able to make miners so we can extract uh, without using the small uh, robots uh, storage containers that will contain uh, our resources and inventory slot okay let's do select milestone we will need rod cable and concrete okay we're missing some roads and some cable let's go make some okay uh, we finished with uh, the, our uh, upgrade five time to start upgrade six okay this is important one uh, this one will uh, make biomass burner this is used uh, this is our first uh, machine that will be creating power for us energy so we can connect them to our machines uh, in order to automate all the uh, resources uh, the work processes in order to create uh, our, all our items uh, please note that till now we will be using the craft bench to create everything it doesn't use any energy but it is slow and it is manual work uh, together with the biomass we will need uh, biomass burner we will use biomass in order to make them work so for this reason we will go around and start gathering uh, some leaves okay select milestone let's see what we have okay we will need more resources and concrete okay let's go around uh, to get the resources from our uh, nodes and we'll be back to uh, to start upgrading okay let's see if we have the, the right components to advance okay have upgrade oh uh, concrete okay let's go get some limestone okay done Let's put them at the hub. Great. Okay, I think we are almost done with the upgrades. Okay, select milestone. Ah, okay, the robot is here also. Congratulations. You have unlocked building. Congratulations. Okay. Building biomass burner. Type biomass. Select milestone. Okay. Okay, succeeded, thank you. Okay, to, to start uh, unlocking the tier, the next tiers, we need to make a space elevator. Uh, okay, doesn't cost any energy, let's make them so we can... Uh, locked, okay. Q, smelter, organization. special okay okay if we want to make something and we don't have enough uh, resources don't need to just uh, coming uh, pressing q all the time and uh, checking we can do press here plus and it will be added in a to-do list as it is here on the right okay um let's make all the necessary items craft them with our special elevator so we can start uh, upgrading the tiers unlocking new things and uh, we will start uh, automating uh, our procedure in order to smelt, uh, to extract ore, smelt it, and start creating uh, objects. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys. Um, okay, as I was preparing all the parts for uh, our special elevator, I saw that uh, we need a lot of wire. Okay, for sure we can make it uh, manually, but it would be good to make uh, our first automated factory in order to, to see how uh how it can be done okay uh, one uh, big uh, one good way to organize our uh, factory is to use our uh, list okay let's okay just tab edit list okay let's take out the special elevator for now we want it and then press q uh what we will need uh, in is first uh, a miner plus we will need one smelter okay uh, we will try to make the factory very very um, basic uh, not to try to auto to make it okay uh, the best way to automate it in a way that it would be uh, fully working uh, meaning that uh, uh, the line will, won't stop between uh, in order to wait one uh, machine the other and so on we don't want to make something fully efficient at the moment just to make a small factory to see how the line goes and plus uh, don't uh, uh, 
have in your mind that uh, we don't have any good resource to, to produce uh, uh, energy, so that biomass uh, small factory it would be our source for now. Okay, we will need one miner, one smelter, one constructor. Uh, between them, one, two, three. storage is uh, let's say that we would need uh, okay with uh, shift and plus we, we would go by 10 let's say that we need 30 belts uh, maybe uh, for five balls okay we won't use mergers and uh, splitters yet so we want to make something uh, easy uh, power lines because we need to make the cables let's see 10 Two poles, maybe. Uh, logistics. Organization. Uh, let's make some foundations so we can put them uh, straight and flat. Okay, guys. Okay, let's see. Tab. Here is the list that we have. That we, what we need. And here is what we will need uh, to create in order to have this list ready. Okay. One portable miner, I have it. Iron plate, concrete. I have everything. Okay. Okay, let's do it. We will go at our copper. Okay, because we need to extract the ore, smelt it to iron to copper ingots, and then uh, use uh, to make wire. Okay. For example, if you want to see if you are away here, let's see what you want to do. Press O. I want to make wire. To make wire, I need uh, copper ingot. To make copper ingot, I need copper ore. Okay. So, first of all, we need to remove this. Okay, grab all, pick up miner. Pick up miner. But you can still put them around if, even if you have the machine to make it work. Okay. Um, here's the port. Okay. Uh, if you want to use your bar, you can select something. Let's say that I want to put the fine tension at five. I go. I hover here and I press five. It is ready. Okay. What else I will need? Storages. Press six. Uh, the poles. I have it. Production. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. We're ready. Okay. I press five to make my foundation. Here's a small trick. Um, to build, you can just uh, press a button and start creating for you. What else you can do is that you can uh, F, dismantle, turn it straight. Okay, press F again. Five here. But you build one at a time. If you are still in building mode, sorry, I... okay. you use the toggle mode R, and you are in zoop building mode zoop. Now you can build. You see straight. Many together without building one by one, but it depends on. What, what you like. Okay. Our first machine will be minor. Okay. With, uh, if you use your uh, right, um, your middle mouse wheel. Okay. Turn, you can turn it. Okay. Let's put it like this. Okay. Try, try to have it uh, parallelly with. Uh, the foundation so it can be more organized okay so we have a miner that will be extracting or uh, let's put after this a container okay just check every structure it has uh, an input and an output input with, uh, orange output with green we want it to be here okay let's stay the stand here at the exit and put it here And then we want to connect it, press here, click, and in the end. Okay, it's ready. 
Uh, let's put more. Foundations. Okay. Uh, after that, we need what? One is the smelter. You see, if you put the smelter here, it says if you see the green line, it shows that it is uh, aligned your exit. If you put it like this, okay, it's not aligned. Say like here, and you try to make here the. the Connection, you see, the conveyor belt has invalid shape. It's not good. Okay, F, dismantle. Remember, in this game, when you dismantle, you take back all your resources, so you are free to experiment as you like. Okay, I want to have smelter. Here, belt. Here. Okay, you see, this is the output arrow if you have this without arrow it means that it is uh, input not output okay we have our smelter and then we need to put what one more container here to steep yes i need to put some lines more perfect Smelter uh, good. It's good to have um, a good space uh, here so you can move plus that you can put uh, later you can organize it a different way like putting splitters, merges and so on. We will show it at the next uh, video. Okay, here. So we extract, save here, all the ore, the ore goes here to the smelter to configure it and we need copper ingots here save at the storage container and then the last part is constructor okay let's e to configure it and what we need is wire okay we connect it this and the last part here Perfect. Connect it. Okay. okay. For okay, now, we need to put the poles in order to start the, uh, connecting all the machines in order for all of them to have power. Okay, let's put here pole. Here it's not necessary, but it's good to, for the, to organize them. And you connect with power lines. You click here. You see, if you click the structure, you see here the thunder. Okay, connected. One of four. It means that the uh, take one four lines. You can connect four cables on it. Okay, click again, and you connect here. Click again, and you connect here. This machine. Here, this. Connect here. Okay. Okay, and now we need to connect them with the power source. In case you don't want to build manually your poles, you can build them directly by using only cables. See, it looks like this. One here. The other one. Connect directly here. Behind our. Uh, Headquarters we have uh, these biomass burners. This will be used in order to create to produce power. Okay, connect it. Uh, in order to use them, they need fuels. Fuels in our case it is biomass. Let's see, let's go our crafting bench. Okay, leaves. Okay, best way is to use. Okay, the best way for now on our levels we will use leaves. Leaves, a good uh, way to get a lot of leaves is, is that that place. Also, okay, you can find it around here. Just go here at leaves, okay. We pick up leaves and flower petals. E, E, and that's it. 
Okay, of course I have gathered more. Okay, let's go to the craft bench and biomass. Okay. Please remember that uh, you, every few minutes you need to go and feed it again and again. Uh, because uh, it's not uh, that uh, it extracts and it feeds it all the time. Let's make our QQ holds a ramp. This foundation. Okay, let this be a small ramp. Make my life easier. Okay, so I go to the biomass and I put I put uh, flowers. Let's say so it uses uh, twelve per minute. Uh, if I put uh, biomass, it uses 6.6 .6 per minute, so it's better to use biomass. In any case, let's put the flowers first. Um, a few words. Here is how much it produces. Uh, it takes, okay, it can use this for 5 seconds, and at the moment it uses 100% uh, the power. So, uh, the production. Uh, how much it produces, and it consumes. Okay, it doesn't consume mass, a lot. Oh, no, sorry. It consumes... 9.1 megawatts so uh, production 9.1 and normally the maximum is 20 so uh, we are still below the limit okay, let's see okay factory start recording good okay from what we see the miner extracts use this Yes, it consumes 5 mega megawatts. It puts all the ore inside here. Smelter and no power. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you see, when it is red, it means that it doesn't have power. Okay. That means that it used all the leaves. That's why I told you this is the, the first... Uh, First kind of power that we will use in order to create, produce energy. No power, okay. Let's put biomass. Okay, it's used, okay. Nine seconds to burn it. Okay, very good. For sure biomass is much better than flowers. Okay, our factory works again, as you see. The small lamps at its uh, machine is green. It extracts saves the ore but that's only if you want it to not uh, but you will see that in the future it, it's good to uh, for each step to have a container smelter it smells directly to ingots here it saves the ingots okay it doesn't have uh, enough yet and then extractor creates wires so uh creates if I make if I can make this faster okay. doesn't need uh, in four seconds produces two wires using one ingot and the, for this uh, it, uh, it needs four megawatts okay so in the end have here okay so without doing anything it produces on its own uh, wires for us so Parallel, we can go uh, mine, do other things, and it keeps preparing wires for us so we can uh, keep the. Uh, we can make our space generator. Okay. Do the list. Now we. Everything. And we go Q. Put again. Biomass construction. Space elevator. Okay, is 1,300 wire, okay. Of course we need to go gather more uh, 
Flowers and Leaves, in order to produce biomass. Okay, uh, whenever they spawn, every few minutes, or I don't know, half hour, uh, these trees uh, produce food for us. We need it in order to heal. Okay, let's see. Okay, last thing for today. Uh, once uh, you finish upgrading your, uh, your hub, uh, you will be able to start uh, unlocking by research new machines uh, or uh, you will meet some uh, bells that they are faster mk2 mk2 mk it's uh, let's say about the tech tech one tech two that they are faster for example this uh, transport 120 resources and the tech one It's around 60 if I remember right. Okay. Uh, the question is what uh, to research first and then what second? First of all, you don't need at the moment tier 2. Stick with tier 1. Uh, if you want to make foundations from the beginning, go for the base building. If not, uh, go for uh, logistics. You can make uh, conveyor splitters and mergers. We will see that in the next episode how to use them. Uh, conveyors that they go up and down. And productivity display. Productivity display is very important because you see uh, how much you produce. This, this small uh, LCD that you uh, had in every machine is because of this. I had it already. Uh, research, productivity display, it shows how much it produces, how much uh, energy it uses, and so on. So, uh, first of all, do your base building so you can make your foundations. Uh, unlock this for productivity display. And then you go for the field. For the field, you can uh, you can unlock some things for your character, for invade slots. You use more machines. Uh, we will see it later. Unlock the map so you can see. Mom is just a second way to research different things. Personal boxes for what you know, and beacons is to use them in order to organize uh, your map. Object scanner uh, we haven't used it uh, at all, but. To we will see it in our next episodes. Tier 2. Why well, you don't need it yet? First of all, it uses assembler. It's something that you use uh, in order to create some things uh, using two different resources. Extractor, you use only one resource to make something. For example, we used uh, the copper ingot to produce uh, the wire. But with assembler, as you see, it has two inputs. Two inputs creates one item. Copper seeds, rotor frames, and we use uh, all these for many things in the future. Plus, smart plating, form for plating. These are used for the next phase of the space elevator, but we will see it uh, in the next episode. Okay. Obstacles clearing is to make uh, another kind of biofuels using chainsaw. Not very uh, urgent. Uh, jump pads, I don't use them in the beginning because I don't have a big factory. Awesome shop, we'll talk about next time, it's just to uh, insert uh, whatever your resources you don't uh, need and then you can use the tickets that you will be producing in order to buy some things. But this thing you do, it just, this is only upgrades, okay. This is to use stacks of uh, conveyor belts, one after the other, we'll see it soon. And this is the upgraded versions, MK2 Tech 2. Tech 2 means that they, they are faster. See, transports up to 120 resources per minute. Tech 1 is 60 resources per minute. Uh, at the moment that you have a big factory, and a lot of, a big of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, needs and uh, a lot of things to, to produce, and you will be using murder splitters and so on, you will need much faster and faster belts. So, uh, we keep the MK1s. Uh, I think my, what I proposes to unlock everything from tier 1, then go to tier 2 and so on. To go to the, to the next uh, tier 3, you need to complete the elevator. Uh, we will wait for the for the system to create, our factory to create the 1200 wires. We will install it and then we'll continue. Okay, that's it for today. On the next episode, we will install the space in elevator. Uh, we'll gather more, in the meantime, more uh, flowers keep the biomass running and we will see how we can automate it, our factory even better so it can work more efficiently. 
Till then, have fun and uh, see you soon.